Hello everybody, welcome, and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with a Mardu Mondrak tokens list. Basically what we're going to want to do is play lots of creatures that make tokens and we're going to double up on those with Mondrak Glory Dominus. So we have things up at the top end like Sanctuary Warden and Skitterbeak Battalion, Wandering Emperor, Obnixilis the Adversary, when you cast this with Mondrak, it doesn't actually make three. Um, as you cast it, it makes a copy of the spell, and the copy enters the battlefield as a token. So it's not creating a token, unfortunately, but minusing to make multiple devils is very powerful. We have Riveteer's Requisitioner to help us ramp, sometimes doubling up on treasures if we have Mondrak on the field. Rite of Oblivion is our removal spell of choice, since we are a token deck, we'll have many things to throw away to it, and it's perfect exile removal. Other than that, we're going to be running a couple cutdowns, a couple go for the throats, and some blood tithe harvesters. And we're also going to be trying out a couple invasion of Tolvadas. The backside of this will anthem our tokens, give them lifelink, and give us tokens each turn. And the front side of it will let us reanimate things like Sanctuary Wardens or our Planeswalkers or Mondraks that have been de uh, dealt with. If you guys are excited to see this deck in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I have been uploading every single day for the past four months on YouTube, and would really appreciate the support as I'm trying to get partnered. I'm around 28% of the way there, so any subs would mean the world. With all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. Um, I don't think this hand is keepable, unfortunately. So we're gonna mull that. That looks better. I think we just put back the warden and hope the double announcements can carry us. An invasion of Tolvada. Let's play the Forge and we pass. Well, thank goodness we were on the play here. We can take out their Thalia and cast our announcements on curve. And a Rafine from the opponent. Second announcements, no attacks. The opponent's gonna cast a Talas. They're gonna connive and get an Igonjo under there. They're going to connive again, and they get a Takanuma. I think we just attack with everybody here. And we draw. Let's cast the cut down. We'll auto pay. And they get their Thalia down. Still just our cut downs in the graveyard, so these invasions of Tolvada definitely not looking great. Let's play our cliffs. I think we just pass here. We can, I guess, worst case scenario, we can bring back the Sakenzin with the invasion. We might have enough to flip it afterwards, and then we have just a massive army of creature tokens. So let's just pass. Back 
to the opponent. And they play out their Otawara. And they cast a Gix. No attacks. Let's channel. Oh my goodness. Whole lot of land. Non-battle permanent. It's the only thing. It's the Sakenzin. That's just dumb. That's about the worst use for an invasion of Tolvada I can think of. Let's do it. We're, we only make big plays around here on this channel. Like reanimating land. Wow, opponent really did not want me to reanimate my lands there. Um, not really sure how to feel about that. A little sad. I guess we pass. No attacks. And they play a land. And they keep eyeing Gix. So, uh, I guess they're on the discard cards and exile the top cards of my library plan. Since we've got the ground walled up pretty well thanks to our double announcements. <laughs> nice. So we unfortunately can't chain invasion into invasion, so I think we just bring our land back, and let's see, so we have to attack with five creatures to force it to flip, because they have one free block with Thalia. So I think we just go with three creatures. I want to have a couple things back. They're going to block with Talas. And Thalia? No. Yep. Oh, I forgot. Thalia has first strike. Or, what am I saying? <laughs> Thalia is a 2-1, so... Not like it actually would have killed that guy anyways. Opponent's gonna grab a couple lands from underneath there to lose. Which does make their Gix a bit better, but we're not running like crazy impactful cards, more synergy cards like tokens and invasions and all that. And they're gonna discard three cards. Right, Requisitioner, and a land. They're looking at my invasion like they want to sacrifice it, but they cannot. They, ha they would have to sacrifice the Gix, and they aren't willing to do that. So they stacked it wrong, so if they had um, put the Requisitioner on the stack after... Yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like they are willing to give up the uh, Gix, but we get our Rite of Oblivion back. Yeah, GG's. We gotta flip the invasion, started pumping out tokens, and then we have double Rite of Oblivion in the graveyard to take care of whatever else. GG's. Alright, next game. This looks like an alright 7. We can start off with the Forge and the Chorus. Play our Cliffs next turn. We'll open two types of removal and lead into an announcement.
So, uh, so far our first couple plays are playing around the opponent's removal quite well. Yep, there's a go for the throat on a crawling chorus. Not bad. Alright, so opponent does not want me to draw cards, it looks like. And they play a Soren. Here's to hoping they minus. Dang. Man, we really haven't drawn a whole lot. It's just been lands. Um... Well, let's play it. And we send them both at Soren. We'll draw and pass. And we hit a Mondrak. Man, they hit two lands in a row off their Soren. They go with an Archfiend, and they're gonna try and kill that. Let's go for the throat in response. Now they don't get the uh, life loss. Back to us. Obnixilis is very good. Just a little bit awkward with the mana we have currently. We can't go Mondrak into Ob. We could just play our Sanctuary Warden. Hope that next turn we draw another land and we can do that. Let's get in for two. I will not spare. And the Warden. And we draw an Emperor. They plus, and they hit a Dread Fugue. Blood for knowledge, a fair trade. So if they cast it with the Cleave, they can hit whatever. And they play an Archfiend. Alright, so I think we go to combat. And we're gonna attack for six at Soren. I'm gonna remove the last shield counter and try and bait out a removal spell. If they wanna trade the Archfiend, they can. That's fine. And do we Obnixilis in Announcements or Tolvada Warden? I think Announcements Obnixilis is actually a little bit better here. Let's go with Casualty and we'll sacrifice one of these citizens since it seems fitting flavor wise. Let's minus. Are you gonna kill it? Are you gonna kill the token copy? March of Wretched Sorrows is gonna take out the other Omnixilis. And the Exile the Dread Fugue. Man, they've hit a lot of lands off of that Soren. Junji. Let's plus. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. And they discard a swamp. I think we just pass here and hold open the Emperor. It's probably the safest slash best play. We could throw everything at Soren. But... Actually, yeah, I think we might just do that. Just in case they have kill spell plus block, Soren still dies. That way we cut off their source of card advantage. I won't let this be over. 
equal ping in the face, and we're still going to pass. And we're going to draw a second Mondrak. Let's exile the Junji. And they're gonna infernal grasp it. Yeah. And they're gonna grab my Sanctuary Warden. Okay. Pretty good. And they take off the shield counter. Back to us. Third Mondrak, huh? Let's go with Mondrak. I think... Hmm. Do we just flood the board? That might be pretty solid. We could probably just force through lethal pretty fast. Let's do it. Go think yourself. Oh, I am. Until next time, Jenny. So let's pass and make another token. In with the warden. And they take off the shield counter. GG's. Yeah, that's a hell of a board right there. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.